Hey guys, I'm going to cover a movie called Fragment as long as in more temple position. There we go. This is sort of more comfortable. Actually, not really, but you know what? Screw it. Okay. My, my legs hurt for some reason. I don't know why. It's my, because I've been sitting on my butt all day. For the most part. Um... Okay, sorry. Basically, it's about... It takes place in the 90s and... I think the 20s. 1920s. Don't quote me on that, though. Basically, like, in the 80s, um... Main character, uh, Evelyn Couch. Interesting last name, right? Um, Evelyn Couch. And, uh, basically, she's not... She's not very happy for marriage. Um... She's not... She's not very assertive. Um... And her husband doesn't really talk to her that much except to compliment her on her food and that kind of changes whenever they go to nursery because he has uh, an aunt or a great aunt there and uh, basically she uh, meets this woman named uh, Nini Fredgood who talks about I believe her sister-in-law Iggy and how uh, Iggy and Ruth uh, become really good friends and um, basically like it starts off where like um she's pretty young and basically um her older bro uh buddy um like starts seeing um roof and uh i mean because like roof's i don't know how much older roof is an edgy i honestly don't know um so basically, yeah, you know, like they go exploring, and Roof's hat falls off of her head, and lay like lands on the tracks, and Buddy like uh, he manages to get it, but his foot gets his foot gets stuck in the tracks um, before he can even like like get his boot off. He uh, gets hit by a train. They don't show that. Don't worry, they don't. Yeah, they don't show him getting hit by a train because. Uh, Man, that would be that would be pretty fucked. Um, so basically, Iggy is like just really heartbroken because uh, you can tell that her and Buddy. I mean, like she's like like she uh, definitely is the closest to him out of like everyone in her family. It seems like you know, like they're more they're more similar personality wise. Um, and basically, she runs away to live in the wilderness for. A couple of years, um, and she only lets uh, Big George their cook, um, like near her, and he he takes care of her. He gives her blankets and food, just you know, make sure she doesn't like freeze and stuff. And like I said, years go by, and uh, I think Roof's, I mean, Edgy's mom is like Roof. I mean, like you kind of, I mean, you and Edgy kind of know each other. I mean, I believe you're the only one who can uh, bring her back home, and basically. At first, Iggy is not really a fan of Roof. I mean, they like, like they're polar opposites. I mean, like opposites attract. But I mean, at first, Iggy is like, I mean, like a uh, Roof compared to Iggy is like more innocent. Um, you know, just more sweet and like Iggy's you know like more tough and like you know she hangs around with um a couple like of guys and like they like like you know gamble and play poker and stuff like that. And, uh, but basically, well, eventually, um, like, uh, Iggy, like, does this, like, it's interesting, because, like, they're, uh, like, in a field, and basically Iggy was like, I'm going to get you a honeycomb, and, uh, she's like, oh, shit, what are you doing? Like, you know, she sees her, like, walking towards a fucking Beza, and she's like, oh, my God, Iggy, well, she doesn't say, oh, my God, Iggy, she's like, she, or she doesn't, like, like, you know, but, like, Iggy, you're gonna get yourself stung. Like, she's really concerned about her. And she basically st fucking sticks her hand into the nest and then gets out honeycomb. And the bees don't even sting her. And she walks back in, like, Roof's like, damn, you're crazy. I mean, like, oh my gosh. And then she was like, I promise, I, I you know, I haven't gone stung ever. Like, you know, just for some reason, she has a way with bees. Like, they just, they don't fuck, like... They don't fuck with her, and uh, basically, like she gives her um, the like the honeycomb, and that kind of like you kind of like you know can tell from then on that like Iggy will do 
anything, basically anything for Ruth. Like, you know, she's just, yeah, you know, they just, you know, have like, they have like a bond, like, that I believe goes like, um, uh, like, it's definitely more than just friendship because like, you know, just away, you know, they look at each other, characters is like, yeah, these two are definitely like in love with each other. Um, in the book, it's based off of a book, I believe, like, it's, uh, more clear that they like are indeed in love with each other. And the movie, it kind of like, they don't like really like make our kiss or anything, like they don't do that. Um, but you can tell that like they're more, they feel like that more in friends. I mean, like, you know, like a person, you know, if they felt like edgy, you know, like, you know, is falling for Ruth, but Ruth doesn't really reciprocate. And uh, I guess I kind of, you know, started to be like, hmm, maybe, you know, um, whenever like Silica so Roof uh, got married and uh, the narrator Nenny was like, Iggy uh, decided, um, Iggy didn't want to see her uh, for a while. Like, I think she was just like kind of, she was heartbroken. Um, and I was like, hmm, yeah, she's definitely in love with Roof. I mean, she's just devastated that she got married and stuff and uh, basically a few years went past and um she went to uh, Ruth's house well I mean like the house of like uh, her and uh her husband and basically she opens the door and Iggy can tell that there's like like she has a black eye and you know she's like immediately concerned you know because she's like she's like what's going on I mean like why like are you okay like what happened um and basically like she like Iggy finds out that um Ruth's husband is beating her and basically like find out that um like I mean like eventually you know like like Ruth runs away um with Iggy like it gets to the point where she just yeah she uh realizes she needs to leave this abusive relationship and it's like she goes with Iggy and um like also like Jenny like her friends are there um to back them up um and basically uh, yeah like is uh it's a good it's a really good movie there's parts where it's like make you sad there's parts that all make you you know like laugh i mean it's it's really good and uh, basically for all of this like um evelyn like in present like as he tells the story um evelyn uh becomes like more assertive um she becomes like more she becomes more confident um and she starts improving her life and yeah, like basically, like she, yes, Evelyn gets inspired by um, Iggy, like that story of Iggy and Ruth, and you know, especially Iggy, you know, like how, you know, she just does not let people fuck with her, um, and yeah, that's really good. And I hope you guys like this review. I'm not gonna like say any more about this because I don't want to like spoil anything, I'm not even, like go too into detail because I try to do that. I think I'm spoiling the movie. And I said I was supposed to spoil but I'm not going to spoil how it ends. But I'm going to tell you, it's it's not like a sad ending. Okay, man, I kind of spoil. Okay, like, you know exactly why it's not a sad ending. Anyways, here we go. And I hope you, like I said, I hope you guys like this review. So my voice sounds kind of weird. I have, like, allergies are really, like, just the cedar is fucking messing with me up here. Yeah, there's, like, cedar I am, like, up, like, like, it's not really... Uh, north, but, uh, like, more of ner north, nerf, <laughs> nerf, <laughs> can't believe I said that, <laughs> more up north than, um, than Texas, all right, I think I'm kind of losing my voice, so I'll see y'all, hope you guys have a good week, and stay safe and healthy out there, all right, bye guys.